my channel and today I am doing the 50 facts about me tag. I figured there's a lot in my life that has happened and there's a lot of experiences, painful experiences and non-painful experiences that I have um, made it through and part of me having a YouTube channel is so I can share those experiences in order to help others. So I thought what better way than to get to know me and get to know what my channel is going to be like in the future by sharing these facts about me and informing you guys more about what my channel is going to be about and what my life has looked like up until today and how I made it to this point and how, yeah just how who I am and what I'm about and all of that so without further ado here are 50 facts about me I'm Portuguese Italian and Irish grew up in South Boston Massachusetts and hated it <laughs> my birthday is on Halloween I was in a movie that premiered in the Boston Common movie theater with a red carpet and all. None of my family and friends were able to make it, but it did appear on Netflix for a few years, a few years ago. I suffered from an opiate addiction from 2010 to 2014. I was able to, because of many traumatic experiences in hitting the bottom of rock bottoms, alongside uh, scars all the way down the T-zone of my face. I was finally able to overcome the addiction on September 8th, 2014, which was exactly a year before my daughter was born. I truly believe that God had another plan for me, and that was to be a mommy to my two beautiful girls, clean and sober. I'm working really, really hard towards getting my life coach certification. It's a 200, 200 hour program and I'm really hoping that I can successfully complete it so I can help others overcome the traumatic and painful experiences that I have as well as work with people and help them through anything else that they may be going through. That's truly my dream job is to help others in any possible way that I can regarding mental health. I got my nose pierced when I was 12 years old without any permission from my parents. I got my tongue and belly button pierced when I was 16 years old without any permission from my parents. My mom got my ears pierced when I was a baby because I looked like a boy. Me and my friends pierced each other's ears. Um, the second, third, and fourth hole, I cannot wear earrings in because it hurts. I love books and have a ton of them. My favorite, one of my favorite books is called Dry by Augustine Barrows. Another favorite book of mine is The Fidelity Files by Jessica Brody. I am petrified of bugs. I used to be a model. I had a portfolio and I attended the John Casablanca's Modeling, Acting, and Career Center. I have no tattoos. I'm obsessed with chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream with rainbow sprinkles. I found out I had a sister when I was 10 years old. She was only a year younger and lived a block away. I have another sister who sings and is in a rock band. She's 10 years younger than me. Oh. Okay, that's okay. Oh, you did a good job. I've been in one serious relationship after another. I'm a relationship girl. I love crystals and anything new age but still remain a Christian. I went to all Catholic schools up until I was 18 years old. I got transferred to a public school in a city I did not know or a town I did not know in the middle of March of senior year. I love the sound of children playing in a schoolyard. I used to be a serious tomboy. I used to play hockey and still can. I took singing lessons when I was 17 years old, which eventually helped me drop a lot of my Boston accent. I have, I believe I have an addictive personality and can get addicted to pretty much anything, but I'm working on that. 
I've had big breasts since I was 10 or 11 and tried to desperately hide them my entire life. Although I was a tomboy, I played with Barbies until I was 15 years old and started getting made fun of for it. I truly believe in the law of attraction and believe that that is how I got my dog, my first dog slash chihuahua, Reese. I went to Empire Beauty School in the first and second month I won three awards. My favorite card game is Phase 10. Wish I could live in Florida or somewhere tropical. I've had two or three very spiritual experiences that left me no choice but to believe in a higher power slash God. When I was younger, I was bullied, even by some of my friends. My hair has pretty much been every color before it was cool. I am obsessed with Big Brother and the real world and hope to be a contestant someday on either one of them. Both of my babies were born on the 5th of the month and they are 2 years and 5 months apart. I can't stand any kind of white creamy sauce. I love the smell of roses and anything with a rose scent. I used to be late for everything before I had kids. I've always been, I've always kind of been the black sheep of my family. I sometimes think I might have ADHD. <laughs> I have trouble organizing things at times and trouble focusing and getting things done. I try to do too many things at once and never can fully complete one thing because I'm working on so many other things at the same time. Although my birthday is on Halloween, I have never had an actual Halloween themed birthday party. Before Bria was born, I had a miscarriage and think about think about it a lot. I lost my best friend since I was seven years old. To suicide a year after her and I stopped speaking. People have asked me if I got my lips done but it is actually because I have scarring on my bottom lip from a car accident that I was in during my addiction. I am obsessed with coffee and water and sometimes energy drinks but pretty much just coffee and water hey guys that's it for the 50 facts about me tag i hope you guys enjoyed it um i guess i would like to tag anybody that is watching this that would like to join in on the fun <laughs> i definitely enjoyed trying to come up with 50 facts about myself and it was interesting to look at my notes and see what stood out the most and then kind of order them and um you know it was just fun getting to know myself and I'm even thinking about doing a draw my life but I'm not a very good drawer so yeah let me know what you guys think or thought of this video if you have any questions or video recommendations going further into any of the facts that I've given I'm more than happy to take in your suggestions. Alright, that's it for today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and hit the notification bell. we got lots more coming up, and it's only going to get better. Thank you guys. Bye.